Well, the fourth quarter, you guys got some stops around a little bit. Did you like kind of how it ended compared to how it was those first three quarters? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, we scored 37 in the fourth, so that was that was good. And I, a lot of it was desperation, right? Desperation and effort to try to get back into the game. I love how they they never give up. Okay, there was never again and never a point that I was like, oh, we're going to lose this game. Um, even in the last three minutes, we were a stop away from cutting it to, uh, to nine or eight. But it, it, this one started from the jump. Their physicality, they were the more physical team. They were great with their switches. Their switch read one through five. And we were unable to create an advantage offensively to really create the chase. And I think that's where the problem started. I, I love the way that we ended the second quarter, fought right back. I thought we were going to be better to start the third. But when they kind of uh, opened the game up to 19, I think that's where it kind of deflated us a little bit. Are there lessons to be taken for the young guys in how to handle the press in this game, or do you just look at it as more of a shooting issue than a, a pressure issue? I don't, you know, you're not always going to shoot it well. Obviously, if we would have made some more shots, I think our confidence would have been higher, our intention would have been a little bit better. But you're going to have games with that. And yes, it's a lesson for all basketball players you got to make your own luck when the ball's not going through the net. You've got to get a stop on the other end of the floor. Again, I, I'm not sure if it was so much their, their press as their, their, their level of intensity in the half court. With Tariq obviously kind of getting some shots in the fourth quarter, how good was that for him kind of after he's been kind of struggling? But just to see the shots fall to get the confidence offensively at least, how, how good was that for him? I can't speak for how it felt for him, but it, I'm, I would hope that it relieves some of the pressure that he's feeling play a little freer come come next game versus the Knicks. That's the player that, that he believes himself to be. It, it always feels uh, feels better when the ball goes through the net. Uh, just with Keon, again, um, impressive start and impressive finish. What did you see from him out there today, especially, again, with the ball in his hands? He's aggressive. We needed, we needed him to be aggressive, especially down the stretch. We needed that. We need guys, when teams are switching one through five and trying to keep them, them out of rotations, we need somebody to crack the paint, and he was doing that. And then, is it really just that simple, kind of winning a one-on-one -on, -one on the perimeter to beat that? And then, kind of, what are the other ways that maybe you did or didn't get them in rotation uh, versus that switching? Well, they were very physical at the point of the screen. So when you're playing against switching, you want to create separation into the screen. You want to uh, have the proper angle of the, the pick and roll, so you don't allow them to switch under. And they they were good. They were good. And then uh, I guess how valuable is that for Noah as, a, as kind of learning the screen, especially as he builds out his frame? Um, what did you see from him in that regard? I, I like the way Noah played. I, when we talk about uh, growth and learning, I think the, the physicality of it. You know, he's, uh, it's his birthday today, so, you know, still, still a young man. Uh, he's done a great job in the weight room, but he's going to continue to get stronger. Um, it's just going gonna to come with time. And toward that end, I mean, yes, he's... He's still kind of filling into his body, but I mean, he also had too many fouls <laughs> the other night. Uh, was he at all kind of straddling that line? Okay, I need to try to be more physical, but maybe I don't want to risk fouling out as he was in danger of doing the other night. I think it for Noah. Noah has a like an incredible knack for protecting the rim. Like he's got great timing, great length, and he blocks a lot of shots, but what he's gotten really good at is the rule of verticality. Just jumping straight up, straight down, and not fouling. And it's something that we've been working on. I think the fouls that he got in the game one, like an illegal screen or pushing, um, pushing his man before he went into, not necessarily the one-on-one -on -one or at the rim, but there were some other fouls that we, that we took a look at, and I think he cleaned that up.